Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and I wanted to upload a video to talk about um, my own kind of experience and technique of uh, how to uh, connect with like spirits and everything and how to connect at least subtly to connect with spirits and to connect with people that have passed on friends or family or even uh, pets and um, uh, one thing that I've come to understand about that is that um, you have to let yourself um, be in a state of of, uh, of openness. Basically, you want to put yourself in a situation where you remember the dead uh, relative or family member or, or animal exactly as the way they were before uh, they passed away. Like try to replay a whole like a virtual situation, replay a situation where you're virtually there living it again. Basically, the whole four dimensional. You know, which is more multidimensional, but the basically the four-dimensional display of you being in this situation back in 2009 or 1996 or wherever you replay the biggest situation that was even boring things, you know, family gatherings. We replay it and live it and remember the subtleties of how who they were, how they felt, and this works for people that really cared about them. That remember all the subtleties. It's very easy for them to remember the subtleties of the people because they cared a lot about them and they remember a lot. And so basically, you know, the the teachings that I want to give is just basically to, uh, uh, for basic people, normal people that are not like powerful mediums like they are now, what you want to do is you want to first come together with the family gathering like on Christmas, Thanksgiving, or just to hang out, you know, bring two or three people, your friends or fa family members, talk about the person, all of you talk about the same person, one person, you know, at, at first, and then talk about all the memories, and you're going to um, let yourself be ready. Don't be judgmental. Don't try to predict. Don't try to force it. Don't try to. Don't try to. In, don't try to make it happen. Just let it happen, and just let it let it take you away. Let it take over. Let it take over. Let it take over. Just remember, carry those thoughts of what you were thinking before. Let it carry. All the sensations of who they were, the smells, the scents, the subtleties, how they brushed up against you when you're walking down the hallway or out when they grabbed your hand, kissed you in the forehead, the perfumes, what the food they make, um, how they emotionally made you feel at certain situations, um, their facials, uh, the slight facial stretches, just, just just a little bit, just to help out a little bit if you, if you can. Uh, um, just 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 everything, how they, they made the room feel different, just little subtle things, um, you know, whatever, and just kind of like while you're there just kind of let those things simmer let them sit there and then pretty soon you feel them to the left of you or to the right of you you feel a sensation of presence there and it's not that they're not saying things it's just that they're, they're there you could sense them because what's going on is that you're using what you were thinking because what it is you have to meet them 50 50 halfway you have to meet them halfway you you have to work on yourself in order to be open but also remember and gather all the information of what they, who they were to you. That's your 50%. Then they come in, they're 50%, and you guys meet in the middle, and then boom, there's a connection. You feel them. You may not hear them, but you feel them. They're there. I can, I can feel it now. You know, I can feel it now. And then the other thing <clears throat> is to, um, is is to just uh, you know like uh, just just let yourself. Uh, um, lay down and reflect before doing anything like this. Remember them, remember all the subtleties, all the things like that. And just let yourself embrace and let yourself be taken away and 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 um, retain all the information. Carry it with you every day. The more you carry it with you every day, the more that when your relative wants to come by to visit, they're gonna you're you're gonna have a more higher chance, higher percentage of feeling them around you. You by yourself. And so basically, it's just basically um, just those two things. Basically, having people around so that they can provoke memories together, provoke provoke something, and two, um, you remembering your own thoughts and feelings of what made you remember them, all the sensations, and just let yourself be open. This will take time to kind of you know to to grasp and to understand. But let yourself be open. Let yourself remember all the sensations of how it felt. Put yourself in a in a in a time machine, emotionally, mentally, in a time machine, to where you're gonna be sucked in back in a 
3D virtual recreation of the same thing that happened. And all the sensations are going to take you away. And you just replay it and replay it, the biggest one. And you let those elements, because what it is, the soft, intricate element, com um, composite, interwoven element of the subtleties that will help you um, gain and grasp to feel them around you a little bit more.